that dude, man, Kimbo was a guy like, I mean, book by its cover, fucking shit people say, like, that's a good man to, you know, bring that up. Uh, like, yeah. I, Everybody it, loved Kimbo. He always seems so happy. Like, just a genuinely happy dude. Yeah. When he Seriously fought Ken that. Shamrock in Bellator, and his his post-fight interview was, you know, he ended up getting kind of like a rear naked choke. And he's like, ATT, ooh. <laughs> I was <laughs> laughing my balls off. Greatest post-fight interview until Derek Lewis. Yeah. My, grabs my, my, my balls were sad. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I had to pick him up at the hotel. He's, he's an ultimate fighter, and just me driving over. And he's like, "Yeah, my manager, Icy Mike, says I can do whatever the fuck I want." So like, I'm allowed to call my kids. I'm allowed to use the TV. I'm gonna do all that shit. I'm like, uh, I don't really know about that. I'm talking about. He's like, "You better not let me do none of that shit." So like, if I ask, he's like, "I don't care if we a month in. I'm begging you, don't let me do none of that shit." He's like, "I don't want shit that anybody else doesn't have." He's like, "I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna miss my family." But he's like, you "Fucking don't let me." You know, and he like he probably could have figured out a way if he went through all that shit to get a little, you know, and I would interview him for so long because he was just mad interesting that people are, that made all these stories. He's down there watching TV. He's fucking watching Friday down there smoking weed, you know, like everyone would make up these like word Kimbo go stories. But it was just like we just had four hour <laughs> interviews that would be 30 seconds on TV 